So in this video, I want to show you how you can cancel your Shopify plan. And it's fairly simple. You just have to log into your Shopify account and then you can go on settings. And here you see the plan. And now on this page, you see the active plan you currently have. But down here, you can choose to cancel the plan. So just click on it. And then Shopify gives you the option to cancel the plan or you can switch to pause and you just have to pay $10 a month or 10 euros a month and to keep building your store or or you can just start a new store, but I'm guessing you want to cancel your store. So let's continue with this option. And here before you cancel now, it's really important that you see these three bullet points because first we have to make sure that every app we have installed has no active subscription because every app which is not run by Shopify might have an ongoing subscription with you. And you can do this here. So just go to apps and sales channels. I would go ahead to actually just uninstall install all apps or if you remember the apps you've paid for then you can go ahead and then just cancel their subscription and once you've done that you can go back to plan cancel and next we need to cancel all additional store connections. So if you have a second account from your partner, business partner, then you need to make sure that this person is disconnected from this store. And of course, if you purchase the domain via Shopify, you need to make sure that this domain is not automatically renewed because otherwise you will get charged in a year. So therefore just click on the link and then there will be a box and just untick the box and say, I don't want the automatic renewal option. And if you've done everything, everything then you can go ahead and say okay I've reviewed all the information and this is actually important because you need to do this beforehand and then you can just click continue and then your Shopify store will be deactivated and your plan will be cancelled so there won't be any charges anymore but Shopify will keep your data for two years so when you decide after a year to reinstate your store then your product images your descriptions and all your settings will be there you just have to log in with your email again and then you can continue where you left off so that's quite nice i think if you have any more questions you can say okay contact support and yeah i'm guessing you didn't like shopify if you need an easier option i can recommend wix for creating your online store or hostinger to create your online store these two website builders are a little bit easier for beginners to build your own e-commerce website and yeah if you have any questions leave down a comment below and thanks for listening goodbye